Hi, today I'm going to show you how to write a Model United Nations resolution. The first thing you need is a suitable topic. Try to find a real global issue to address. I'm going to write a resolution on infant mortality. To make the process easier, Civitas has added a number of resources for you. Let's go to the Civitas website and check them out. Open up the browser of your choice and go to www.civitas-stl.com. Now that you are here, go to the Resources tab. You can scroll down and see all of the useful things Civitas has gathered for you. For now, let's just use the blank resolution template. Remember to save this on your desktop or someplace you can easily find. This is a blank resolution. Start by putting your topic on the line that says RE. That's an abbreviation for regarding. Next, we'll put down the country you're representing. Finally, we put down the session date. Now let's move on to the preamble. The preamble is where you clearly define what problem your resolution will be dealing with. It's composed of two main parts. The first part is where you place an article from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The second part is where you clearly state why the issue you chose is serious. It's important to include good statistics to back up your argument. Let's go back to the Resources page on Civitas to look at the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. There it is! You might have already skimmed through this at a classroom visit. If not, take some time to read it. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights is an important document. I need to find some human rights that pertain to infant mortality. Bingo! Let's copy this onto that blank resolution. Generally, there are two clauses from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in a resolution. We should find a second one to quote. Perfect! Now let's take this one back to the blank template. It's time to work on the second half of the preamble, the research part. If we go back to the resources page, there will be things there to help us, but don't feel like you can't use other sources. I'm going to start by looking at the CIA World Factbook. The CIA World Factbook has data by country, and for a few things, it has information for the whole world. I wonder, what nations have the highest infant mortality rate? Interesting. We should put this information in our preamble. This is a great start, but we need more data. I want to know why do these three countries have such high infant mortality rates? What causes this problem? When in doubt, Ask Google. WHO is the World Health Organization. Let's look there. That's rough. But most of those diseases are treatable with the right medical care. Sadly, it seems that a lot of children die because they can't afford to get such care. Or maybe they just don't have doctors in their area.
Now we just have to figure out how to decrease infant mortality. Back to Google. I'm going to try to be more specific this time and search for infant mortality in Afghanistan. UNICEF. I recognize that as another UN organization. So let's look there. Money definitely seems to be an issue. What if healthcare was free for infants and could come to them? It appears that the UN is already aware of this issue and is trying to help. We can use that in our resolution. We should look at one to two more sources for ideas on problem solving and additional information. I feel like I know plenty now. Let's go back to the resolution template. This is a great preamble. It clearly states a problem and provides some facts. Now to tackle the operative clauses. This is where the operative clauses go. There are four things every resolution needs to be complete. Number one is an action plan. Number two is funding. Three is evaluation. And four is the timeline. I know UNICEF is also working on infant mortality, but I wanted my own committee. Remember to pick a starting location for your program. Try to include as many details as possible in your action plan. When you feel like you've got a comprehensive plan, it's time to move on to funding. I have no clue how much this program would cost. The best thing to do is look at some numbers and make an estimate. You can search online for the price of what you'd like to buy, or you can look at the handy chart found in the Civitas Participant Handbook. The handbook has a whole page dedicated to funding. Most of these numbers come from UNICEF. Click here to see some more prices. My resolution called for 60 health mobiles. Those alone would cost around $1.2 million. I need to add in building costs, doctors, medicine, transportation, the program is going to be expensive, which is why we need to find a way to pay for it. The most common way of funding a program is to raise UN member dues. You're not limited to that though. You can have donations, request taxes, be creative. Member dues are found in the participant handbook. Civitas also has a great Excel sheet with all of that data. There's a lot of great information here. I sorted the data so I could look at who paid the most in dues. And don't worry if you're unsure about how to work with Excel. We'll have another tutorial up to cover that later. I'm estimating that I'll need about $40 million to pay for everything. I'll play around with the numbers a bit and see what percentage I would need to raise dues by on the 15 wealthiest nations. When I'm done with that, I'll add the numbers to my resolution. I cannot stress it enough. Use plenty of details in your resolution. This resolution should state how much money is going to each expenditure or list off what sort of supplies will be purchased. Lastly, I need to add some form of evaluation and a timeline. Almost done. I think I'll have the program expand to other countries. It's a surefire way to pick up more votes or support. Let's just pop on back to the CIA World Factbook and find the next three nations. So easy. 
We're finished. Resolution writing is not hard at all. It's always a good idea to look back over your work and make sure that you didn't forget anything. Once again, here are the parts of a strong resolution. The preamble should have one to two articles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and should also contain facts and statistics about the problem. The operative clauses should have an action plan, funding, evaluation, and timeline. Once your resolution is complete, please email it to info at civitas-stl.com. Thanks for watching!